Hello Grade 9 Learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, I welcome ka. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell so that you will be updated on my latest video. So ngayon ay i-discuss ko yung basic concepts behind the loss of exponent. So probably when you encounter, uh, encounter problems that involves exponent, so we can apply the product rule and the quotient rule for you to be able to solve problems easily. So under product rule, so when multiplying powers having the same base, exponents are added for any number x and y and positive integers m and n. So we have here three under product rule. We have the product of powers, we have a power of a power, and we have here power of a product. And we have here uh, the mathematical concepts that you need to remember for you to be able uh, to solve such problems. So let's start with the product of powers. So the given expression or the given equation under product of powers is x raised to m times x raised to n equals. So therefore, observe that you have the same base Ito yung ating base x and then ang ating exponent which is m at n. So when you multiply having the same base, you just add the exponent. So that's why it will become x equals to m plus n. So let's have an example under product of powers. So let's, we ha uh, let's have an example. 2 cubed times to square. So, how are we going to answer this one? So, mapapansin ay parehas yung ating base. So, you just copy 2 and then just add the exponent. So, that is 3 plus 2. So, therefore, that is 2 to the fifth. So, let us simplify. So, meaning that 2 to, by, two to, uh, two to the fifth, you are going to multiply 2 by itself 5 times. So that is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and times 2. So that gives an answer of 32. So same with kapag ginawa mo yung 2 cube, that is 8 and then 2 squared is 4. So that is 8 times 4, you have 32. So we just apply the product of powers. So another, so let's have x cubed y squared times x y to the fourth. So, we are going to multiply this. So, mababasin nyo parehas tayo ng base na x and y. So, we have here x and then you just add exponent. So, 3 and then ang exponent nito ay understood na 1. So, therefore, 3 plus 1 is 4. And then, y squared y to the 4th. So, you just add 2 plus 4. So, that is 6. So, therefore, the product is x to the 4th and y to the 6th. So, that is a product of powers. Again, you just remember x raised to m times x raised to n equals to x raised to m plus n. Moving forward, we have here power of a power, so given by the quantity x raised to m raised to n equals x raised to m n. So you just multiply. So power of a power. So let's have an example. So example, x squared cubed. So that is power of a power. So that is x. So 2 times 3 is 6. So you just multiply. And then another example. So you have here 2 squared cube. So that is 2. Then you have here 2 times 3. So you have here 2 raised to 6. 
and then 2 raised to 6 gives you 64. Because it can be expressed as 2 squared. What is 2 squared? 4. And 4 cubed gives us 64. Okay? And then lastly, under product rule, we have your power of a product given by the quantity x raised to y, I, x, y raised to m. So, equals x raised to m, y raised to m. So, let's have an example. 1. So, we have here x, y squared cube. So, therefore, we have here x cube and then y squared cube. So, you just multiply. So, 2 times 3 is 6. So, you have here y to the 6. So, another example, you have 3 p squared squared. So, that is 3 squared and then p 2 times 2 is 4. So, to simplify, so you have here 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9 p to the 4th. And we have the quotient rule. So, when dividing powers having the same base, exponents are subtracted for all integers m and n where x should not be equal to 0. So, we have here x raised to m divided by x raised to n. So, mapapansin natin na they have the same base which is x. So, when dividing, kung sa multiplication, nag tayo, sa div uh, division naman, we just subtract. So, that is x, m minus n, if m is greater than n. So, let's have an example. So, example... 8 to the 5th over a squared. So, that is a 5 minus 2. So, we just subtract. So, the answer is a cube. Another. So, let's say we have x to the 5th, y to the 4th over xy. So, that is x. And then we just subtract the exponent, 5, and the exponent in our denominator is 1. And then y to the 4th minus 1. So our final answer is x to the 4th y cubed. So when we say power of a quotient, if y is not equal to 0, then x over y raised to m equals x to the m y to the m. So, let's have an example. A over B cube. So, that is A cube over B cube. So, as simple as that. So, we have here 2 cube sorry, 2 over 3 cube. So, that is 2 cube over 3 cube. And simplifying, so 2 cube is 8, and then 3 cube is, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. So, that is power of a quotient. So, makakatulong itong uh, concept na tinuro ko sa inyo regarding exponent kapag kayo nag-solve ng mga uh, problems regarding this. So, I hope that you learned something today. So, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. So, see you on our next video lesson. Bye!